Hello and welcome back everybody to Let's Play Total War Attila, Age of Charlemagne as the Emirate of Cordoba. I totally know what game I'm playing, I didn't take a, a, a couple of seconds to, to remember. And I totally didn't almost say Europa Universalis 4. <laughs> Looking at the grand map screen. As funny as that might have been. Um, let's slip the dogs of war! I'm sorry, it's just an uncontrollable urge to say that all day. I have no idea why. I just really wanted to say that. Please forgive me. Please forgive me, I know not what I do. Please forgive me, I am gonna stop quoting Ryan Adams. Now. <laughs> the intros get more and more retarded as we move on. Don't worry about it. It's, it's to be expected. Uh, <laughs> Okay, let's go and bring peace to the world, or something like that. <coughs> uh, let's put you, like, up there, and then next turn you'll deploy in Lissabon and make all of the peoples happy. Uh, okay... I forgot about something. You're not supposed to go up there, you're supposed to go down here. Oh well. Yeah, uh, what was I going to say? We are doing great. I have a very uncomfortable pain in my throat. As opposed to a comfortable pain in your throat. I know, shut up. But no, I really I really do, and it, it's... It doesn't hurt as much, but it my voice is gone, just... Well, it's gone. Um, <laughs> it's gone, I can't speak anymore. But no, seriously, like, it's... it's uh, <clears throat> disgusting. Some people like it. Some people actually like uh, a more... How do you call that voice? How do you call this voice? A, a bit more rough? Rugged, I suppose? And that's entirely fine and, and your prerogative. So if you like it, I'm sorry I can't keep this up. Well, I could, but it would involve uncomfortable amounts of alcohol. So, no, I can't keep it up. But you know what I mean, like it's, uh, some people like it and that, that's completely fine, but guess to those of you that do like this, you, your wish has been granted. Um, you're gonna listen to me speak like this for the time being because, well, I'm coming up with some sort of flu or whatever it is. <clears throat> it's not pleasant, whatever it is, I don't know what it is. We need a road through there, do we have a road through there? Yeah, we do. There's a road going through the forest. Ha! Huh. Interesting. We're going here to upgrade our units. Um, and the peace is holding in the country, isn't it? Yes, it is. You are an admiral, and I haven't upgraded you, have I? Um, there you go. Money is the be-all end-all, trust me. We earn 2,400 each turn, which is a lot of money. And we can accumulate quite a large war chest. Uh, what's a war chest? War chest? Ward chest? No, it's something different. What's a war chest, Jug? A uh, war chest is money that you accumulate and don't spend for those times that, that when, you, when you go to war with someone. <coughs> Fairly obvious, if you think about it. So you gather up, let's say, 10,000 credits. It's not credits, it's... Denarii, Sestashi, whatever they're called. It's not Sestashi, we're not in Rome anymore. Whatever. Gold. You gather up 10,000, or 5,000, or 10,000 gold, and you don't spend it on construction, you don't spend it on anything. You spend that money when you go to war with someone. Why would you do that? Well, uh, you spend that money when you go to war to recruit troops, or defend yourself or you know different different things you might spend them on when when you're at war you, you pick basically is what you do and basically we can if we want to make a really big war chest do we want to make it is a different thing but we can make it if we want to so we have Val Valadoid 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 I'm gonna call it Valadoid here I will make a estate. Just spent all of our money on two very, very important buildings for the future of this country. <coughs> <coughs> oh. 
Oh god, I'm sorry. Very sorry. It's typical though, right after New Year's Eve, I get some something in my throat. It feels like I swallowed something. Don't crack rude jokes. Uh, usually I'm okay with rude jokes, but that was just a, uh, inappropriate and you should feel bad for laughing. You know there's someone that laughed out there. You know that there's people like that on every video, no matter how popular or, or unpopular it is. Get five views on a video, one of them is going to laugh at you saying I swallowed something. <clears throat> Completely irrelevant. Rant aside. The s so, yeah. Um, you're on Forced March. Yes, you are. You get to here, and I buy you the upgrades. Which army is the next one that's going to go and buy itself some upgrades? It's probably going to be this one, isn't it? Warriors of Tahid. Uh You can't recruit it. Yeah, you're at max capacity. You're at 2020. That's nice. <clears throat> Can you leave? Mm, not really. Stay in there for now. Because I don't have the money to, to upgrade you to begin with, so yeah. Stay. Are you doing your job? Yes, you are. Are you doing your job? There's a dude over here that's not doing his job. Uh, do your job. Lovely. Make people happy. Okay. The year is 777. Anno Domini. Which is actually, it's not 777 um, for us, because we're a Muslim nation, or an Islamic nation. We count time differently. Um, which year is it for us? Honestly, don't know. I know roughly when they started counting, I don't know the exact date, so I'm going to get some shit for that, but I'm sorry, I don't remember. I knew that, I honestly did, but I don't remember right now. Um, <clears throat> there's this rebel army here in Palma, and I'm thinking Palma is, has got to be one of the most beautiful cities at the time. I mean, a small, small city here, on a small island overlooking a vast ocean, this is, the tourism is just amazing there. I know there isn't any real tourism this time of year, this time of century, this time of age, as in medieval age. <laughs> but it's still nice to have a beautiful little island and I can move my capital there and have the most beautiful capital in the world. Not because it's the biggest, not because it's the, the most, not because it has the biggest walls, but because it's on a pretty little island. Yes, that may or may not have been a joke for the... Uh, directed towards London and Great Britain. Siege Engineer. Uh, no. Trading Post. Meh. Water Bill. Meh. Fields. What is the... Fertility like? Fertility is 15. What's fertility like over here? 32. Oh dear. Forty-eight. Yep, um we're not gonna build farms. we're not gonna build farms over there. We're gonna build something else. Uh mosque. Uh no. Burning post. Feel uh, surface mine. Uh you know. Blacksmith might be. Great engines of war crafted from strong oaks. Enables the recruitment of oranges. Nah. Let's build a trading post. Well, this is an estate. Hold on. Wealth from agriculture. Uh. Ha. <clears throat> Let's build a mosque. And here, I am going to build a water mill. 
Yes, because we don't have a watermill there. It's going to boost our income quite a bit. In theory, that is. Uh, you... I may have mismanaged slightly. How much do you want for, for your upgrades? 1,300. That's not bad at all. We can do that next turn. By the way, if I haven't mentioned, this episode is mostly going to be economy managing and, and stuff. But we're gonna we're gonna build one of the wealthiest nations on on it, well, on Earth, but in Europe right now. Mark my words, I am going to slowly build up this economy to make it one of the best out there. It's gonna take a while, and it's gonna be slow and painful, but it's gonna happen. Just a matter of time. Uh, you don't have a plague in there, so you can you can station warriors of Tahid. Briefly in there. <clears throat> Can I construct or recruit another? I probably can. Can I con uh, recruit another priest? No. Or oh, imam, sorry, not priest. Can't do that yet. Can you leave? Hell no. Um, <coughs> oh god, I'm dying slowly. <coughs> I'm dragged to the plague. Duchy of Gascon uh, Gascony. 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 It's more simple. Um, <coughs> at war with Barcelona. I'm very sorry for the entire coughing every now and again. Really, there's, there's nothing I can do about it. You don't want to trade with me. The theme of Sicily, which is basically the uh, Eastern Roman Empire. You don't want to trade with me either. Mm. Oh, you know what? Hmm. I need a trade agreement with someone. Do I? No, not really. Nobody wants to trade me with me, that's fine. Wait there for one more turn and then you can uh, come down here and grab your upgrades. Happiness in the country is a lot better than when we started. I took a look at the first uh, first episode and, and how we, we sort of did back then and <clears throat> well, it wasn't bad, but it wasn't particularly great either. I think they just looted Braga. Uh, oh dear, okay. <sighs> An unskilled arrival has spread foul rumours about a member of your family. Give him the order... Give the order and they will be silenced. Bay him off. Might as well. War declared. Uh, oh dear. Population surplus over here. Mm, fine. I think. No, wait. Not yet. Don't do anything yet. Uh, here, I think I might want to build something here. <coughs> later, though. Yeah? Mm, later. Army! Army! I forgot about army. Army! You! Force march. Into... Here. Scourge of the Abbasids. Go... Back... There. With your upgraded, 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 up, upgradiness, upgraded, upgradiness. Yes, there we go. Surprisingly difficult to say. Processing. Juggernaut is processing. Hold on. Um. 
So what do we need? We need, I'll tell you what we need. We need to upgrade our estates. Yeah, we do. We need to upgrade our estates. And we're going to do that. We're going to accumulate money. Watch this. We're going to excitingly end turns and not do anything in particular. <coughs> Though... Here's the thing, here's the thing though. The to fear of those guys that I fought in the last episode and, and doubled my territory practically are taking over the Christians of the north, aren't they? Because they just took over this, they looted and burned this, and now they're gonna take over Lugo and they're taking over this as well, and Leon is going to fall as well. So, my idea is, we let them, we let them do all that, yeah, hear me out, we let them do all that, and when they're done fanaffling about, we backstab them eventually, and we declare war on them, and we take them over. I think that's a great idea. One that I will go through with. Uh, you are going up there. You are going down there to receive your upgrades. How much is upgrading you going to cost, by the way? Uh, I don't know. Okay. We should also improve our units. Yeah, but the, the thing I'm, I'm most... most um, <clears throat> unsure about is what and where do we build? And how much money do we save up? My guess is not a lot. I'm going to improve these vineyards here, and <coughs> I'm going to take our sweet while accumulating money and such. Oh, those are the Franks. Right, 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 right. What the, the hell are the Franks doing down here? Go away. Here's what I heard, here's what I heard. The AI doesn't do a lot of, of anything, really. <clears throat> In that the AI sort of ignores you and everything about you. They just sort of go, whatever, we don't care. And are very peaceful, generally, in this game, at least, for now. In the current state of the game, uh, which I don't think will change. The AI is fairly peaceful, which I'm very happy about, don't get me wrong. I think that's great. Uh, AI being peaceful is good for us, so great. Perfect. Let them be peaceful. Let them do nothing and let them uh, wait while build, why, why, whilst I build up my economy and then overwhelm them all with superior numbers and stuff. Upgrades take priority. <laughs> Everyone from here, uh, 2,000, yep, that's fine. 2,000 for a far better army is completely acceptable. Question is, where do you go now? <laughs> because, well, um, go in there, I think, because it's the least happy of all places and everyone else is sort of doing fine. So we might as well, I guess. <clears throat> and then we wait another turn, I presume? Because here's what I'm thinking. We find a place where we can build warships, and we take on Palma. Because 14, and they're going to have a huge amount of units, though. Mmm, no! No, 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 you know what? You know what? That army that I said I didn't know what to do with it, I now know what to do with it. Warriors of Tahid, you are going to Valencia. Yes, you are. You're going to Valencia and then to Palma, and then we're going to take it over. And the Byzantines, or the Romans, aren't going to be that happy with us. But we, we don't care. At all. Who gives a fuck about the Byzantines? They can be 
dissatisfied all they want. We are taking over. Yes, that is exactly what we're going to do. Uh, you, you have leveled up. Excellent. This is very good for... I mean, the country as a whole, really. So... Legend. Yeah, that's nice. Sweet talker. You need more influence, mate. Out of favor. Yep, you need more influence. All right. Boom. There we go. Which should fix our internal um, problems as well. So what I've essentially done is I've fortified my rule over the entire land and am now an utter badass. <laughs> Complete and utter badass. I, I am, am I? Really though, if you think about it, internally there's no struggle, almost. Well, there's the right amount of struggle, which I hate the, the concept of you have to have the correct amount of fighting going on in, in internally that everyone's happy and there's no organized rebellion, which, fair enough, you can do it that way, but there's other ways of, of organizing your country, but apparently not in total war. But that's uh, around for a different time. <clears throat> Thing is... <coughs> sorry. Thing is, internally we're stable, economically we're kicking ass, yeah, we're doing great. We are doing absolutely great. Uh, these two. There you go. Should make them way happier. And it did. 3,000 money. Oh, all the money. I want all of the money. Do you know what? Yeah, upgrade to that, and then you can upgrade to a better... What's it called? Better... Uh, Castle, not castle, main building thing. Don't know what. Don't know what they're actually called. Like the main building in your the city. Yeah, you can upgrade the the city or town itself. I suppose that's how we call it. It used to be castles or city or towns or cities in in medieval uh, medieval or total war. Yeah, there isn't a medieval two total war. Just it's just medieval total war. Uh, which is, I guess, this kind of the spiritual successor of that. Even though I'm fairly confident we're gonna we're gonna get Medieval Two Total War eventually as well. Maybe after Warhammer, which would be nice. Because if you remember, they're re-releasing everything. They started with Rome because Rome was was the initial release, right? The the big one. <coughs> then Barbarian Invasion, which had Attila which had uh, hordes invading Rome, which is this. Then after this, we get Medieval Total War. Because they're not going to do Shogun again. They did Shogun recently. Relatively recently. They're not going to re remake Shogun Total War. Because um, they already remade the original Shogun Total War into, Sh into Shogun 2. So now we're going to get Medieval 2 <sighs> in years from now. Like maybe 2017 sometime, late in 2017. And then 2019, we can look forward towards maybe Empire 2 Total War. Or they're going to do a standalone game for one of the, what's the... What's the... Oh, did you, did you have Aquitaine? Hold on. Maybe they're going to do a standalone game for the expansion in, in America and colonization and early stages of colonization and all that because Kingdoms was also a DLC for medieval total war. Weird little little trivia and, and, and ideas there, but why not, I suppose. Yeah, um... Sure, build me everything. Go. We go to make war. Blockade the port. Uh, maintain blockade. Actually. Set up a blockade. Oh, their uh, garrison is very pathetic and they can't reinforce properly. They do have siege equipment though, which is going to be a pain in the ass to take over. 
But that's fine. I, I expected a pain in the ass to when I when I decided to go after that city, so yeah. We're gonna need to do a lot more construction. We're gonna need to do a lot more of of just that. We're gonna need to build farms and great cities and, and stuff. Bountiful harvest. Nice. Nice. It's not that often I get a, a positive event, if you will. I'm gonna do one more turn and Yeah, okay. As I said, we're gonna do one more turn and then we're gonna we're gonna end the episode. Because we're gonna need to take over a city next time. But we did a crap ton of construction and I am very happy about the or I'm very happy with the state of, of the country thus far. We're not gonna build anything there. We're gonna build a Medina. Uh then again we might not. Sevilla. Yep, I'm building a or should I? Hell yeah. I'm building a Medina somewhere. Just need to decide where. Congratulations, we're building a Medina in Toledo. So or are we? <laughs> I keep going back and forth because I'm thinking either that or we build another vineyard, which gives us public opinion um, pub order, I guess. Public order and uh, money as well. And a decent bit of money, so. Things to consider. I wonder, can we see somewhere. Oh god, not another case of consumption, please. I wonder, can we see anywhere what the status is? Yeah, I'm not building anything here, you're all level 2. The, the, oh, we're doing this. We are totally doing that. Uh, can we see anywhere? Like a ledger or something. Trade and finances. Uh, can we compare? What I'm trying to say is, can we compare our nation's current This is interesting, in case you're just listening, I'm thinking, I'm thinking about increasing taxes in our country, because that wouldn't be the... Well, yeah, it would. It would be a very bad idea. Let's not do that. For now, at least, it would be a very bad idea. Uh, power control and everything is great in the nation right now. We're attacking them next episode and taking them over and all that uh, is, is happening, but... But something to consider. Oh, they took it they took over Leon. And there is a Spanish Christian rebel army in Lugo. Fighting alongside actually the Warriors of Divine Justice. Okay, that that, that makes sense. Yeah, they're going to burn each other out. I'm going to swoop in and take everything over when they're done murdering each other. And eventually we're going to have to fight Charlemagne, I guess, but that's, that's episodes and episodes away from here and now. However, what I'm, what I'm, uh, what I'm thinking about is... Look, we're building a, a royal house in Toledo next. That's the thing that's going to happen. Undoubtedly, but I'm I'm thinking. Hmm. Give me a minute. Give me a minute here. I, I kind of lost my train of thought. But can we compare our factions, like power rating, if that makes any sense, to other factions' power ratings? Is there like you know there was a there was that ledger thing in in um, in Rome total war 
and roam two with the mods and everything. Is that not a thing? Probably not a thing. Okay, we're gonna end the episode here. I I've been ranting on way too long. Thank you very much for watching. Please remember to like, subscribe down below if you enjoyed the video and want to support the channel. Next time, we are taking over Palma. Let's just click that to make sure I don't... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we're taking over Palma. <laughs> this is going to be an amazing fight. Can't wait. Uh, but that's next time. Thank you very much for watching, as I already said. And uh, until next time, take care. Bye-bye.